the labor situation in the country um, comes at a time where you know the world is a very uncertain place um, economically. Uh, com countries are competing more aggressively uh, for investment dollars, and um, you know this turbulence in our domestic market is not helping. It also takes place against the backdrop of extreme poverty in our country. And so it's not a one-way street in terms of addressing social stability. I think uh, all South Africans, business, labor, government, civil society, uh, we need to take stock of where we are as a country. And as SA Inc, we need to move forward. Um, carrying on in this way can only undermine where we wish to see our country, which is a prosperous, stable, secure uh, democracy. In average, we've seen uh, labor disruptions, um, some of which were not linked directly to strike action by our workers, but where they got caught up in strike action um, on, on some of the mines. And across the group, the effect of that, as I mentioned, was 123 million rand, or 23 percent of operating profit. Um, it is not a sustainable situation for our economy, and we need to have leadership from business, government, and labour to resolve this. Um, I have cautioned uh, the market that the second six months uh, should <coughs> industrial action not be stemmed we will see some of the impacts in this period as well. I think uh, individual companies can do everything possible in terms of relationships with employees, but the macro environment seems to be the tipping point um, in these matters. Business Leadership South Africa, of which um, Avenge is a member, is in ongoing discussions with role players on this exact issue. But certainly the construction industry is a huge employer. You know, since the downturn happened, uh, we've shared 109,000 jobs. Um, and, and that's at risk. Sustainable employment, um, you know, social disruption, etc. So I think, I think this issue is top of mind for government, business, and labor. And uh, we, through our various bodies, I think we need to find common ground to move forward. But it's not sustainable. And I think, uh, you know, strikes outside <coughs> of agreements leads to anarchy. The, the right of workers to strike is a right enshrined in our constitution, and it's a right that must be protected. Um, and the right for the uh, country to move forward, and for <coughs> us to find that also has to be preserved. So we need to think out of the box here. It's a very, there's a big gap, and I think uh, business leadership and government and labor and all of us need to put our heads together to, to deal with this.